Today, I've got an updated breakdown of Fram oil filters for you. There have been some changes since my 2016 video, which I will cover as we go. If you're not familiar, Fram offers three tiers. Their base model Extra Guard, their mid-grade Tough Guard, and their top-end Ultra Synthetic. Now, Fram did also offer this high mileage filter back in 2016, but it was basically just an Extra Guard with this little canister of additives stuck on the inside, which I think was gimmicky, so I'm not really that sad to see it go. Regarding performance, one of the main differentiators between each tier is how many miles you can go between oil changes. The 2016 packaging was really straightforward about this, stating that the Extra Guard was good for 5,000 miles, the Tough 10, and the Ultra 15. It was very simple. The refresh packaging, though, is not as clear on this. Only the Ultra makes a mileage claim, which has increased to 20,000, but you have to go to Fram's website in order to find out that the Extra and Tough filters can go for 10,000 miles apiece. In spite of the mileage numbers for all three of these though, Fram says to always adhere to the OEM recommended oil change intervals. It sounds like you're on your own if you go past that. Regarding the filters themselves, externally they're all the same size with the weights of each shown on the screen. The undersides are all identical too, save for maybe the gasket material. The gasket on the Ultra Synthetic is made from a high temperature NBR, Whereas the Fram website does not explicitly say what the gaskets on the other two filters are made from. I'm really hoping they're not the standard NBR that underperforms at extreme temperatures. As I say regularly, I'm not really a fan of these rectangular cross-section gaskets because of how easily they can come off and put you at risk for double gasketing. I much prefer the kinds that Royal Purple and K&N use here wherein the gasket is trapped by an undercut in the track on the bottom of the base plates. That will help keep them from separating when you go to change your oil later. Moving inward, we've got the 12 inlet holes where oil can flow into your filter. These total up to a combined inlet area of 0.22 to 0.23 square inches, which is a little bit on the low end for filters that fit this particular application. For reference, this is the base plate from a Mobile One filter. Its five inlet holes total up to about 0.27 square inches. And furthermore, here's a base plate from one of um, Walmart's Supertex that has a combined inlet area of 0.33. The center holes on all the Fram filters have three threads on them, which is a bit underwhelming considering that I've yet to come across a filter from any other manufacturer that has less than four, and I've cut up quite a few at this point. As far as the insides go, all three filters now have silicone anti-drain back valves, which is a definite improvement for the extra guard filter, which only used to have this standard nitrile valve to it. The end caps on the extra and tough filters are still made from this kind of flexible papery material, which sort of kills me because every other filter I've looked at, even down to this sub $3 SuperTech from Walmart, has metal end caps on it. Now that may not truly hurt their performance, but at least at their price points, I can say they're not really rising to the level of the competition in this regard. What I'd prefer to see is that across the board, they use the end caps from the ultra synthetic filter which are really stiff actually and the upper end cap even integrates this seal on the top that interfaces really well with the leaf spring and emergency bypass valve assembly that would be great to see across the board anyway regarding the filter elements themselves here's the one from the extra guard it's made from a cellulose and resin blend and it gives you a total surface area of about 102 square inches. The Tough Guard gives you even more surface area at 117 square inches, and it's made from a synthetic blend. At the top end, you get this wire kind of mesh backing screen for extra rigidity, and you get a dual layer synthetic media. Now, given that it's thicker and it make room for the wire mesh, you get a reduced surface area of only 77 square inches, but uh, the filtration efficiency is highest, and that's one of the things you have to do to achieve that. Now, as far as efficiency goes, at 20 microns per the ISO 4548-12 test, the extra guard gives you 95% efficiency, the tough gives you 99% efficiency, and at the top end, you get 99 plus percent efficiency. The center tubes are all the same. They all feature the single axial seam design that you see here, which... I would prefer that they be made with the helical style here from the Mobile One, just for example, because that's stronger, but it's probably not a big deal. Finally, the cases each have wall thicknesses of about 15 thousandths of an inch, which 
you can see how easily I can flex these guys. It's not my favorite. Some of the other manufacturers give you a heavier gauge at 20 thousandths of an inch, which I prefer to see, but that's what you get with Fram, at least for now. Those are all of my highlights for Fram as of mid-2019. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please subscribe. It helps me out. And if you have requests for other cut-ups, please say so in the comments, and thanks for watching.